the work of the Institute, I believe, is critical to Irish people and Irish citizens understanding what actually the European Union is about. And what the report does, and you will be getting it, as Brendan has said, later in the week, and you will have got uh, the concluding chapter today, it allows a reflection on how the European Banking Union has come about, what its structure is, what it does, what it doesn't do, what its legal format, what its legal structure is, what challenges that might, br might, br might bring, and it allows us, and it helps our democracy to understand precisely what the European Banking Union is about. And it allows us as a country to participate to a greater extent, in my view, in the European Union's affairs. Since June 2012 and the decision, the momentous decision taken to break the connection between banks on the one hand and sovereigns on the other hand, there has been a real, although somewhat slow, progress towards this new regime in the European Union. And I just thought, before we start the session, just to give all of us a reminder of precisely what the banking union has. It has three basic objectives. Firstly, to preserve the single market for financial services by ensuring strong and coherent supervision. Secondly, ensuring that bank solvency issues are dealt with in a way that removes or at least minimizes the burden on national taxpayers and thirdly, to remove financial fragmentation. And it has, as part of that, a number of interrelated building blocks. And those building blocks are the supervisory, a single supervisory mechanism, a single resolution regime, and a financing regime for bank failure, which may include a common resolution fund, a fiscal backstop, and a form of common deposit guarantee scheme or schemes. And lastly, and most importantly, a single rule book. Now, this session, uh, as I said, is dealing with the bank, the, the Institute's own interim report. And I'm delighted to have Pat McArdle, who is the chairman of the Institute's Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee, and who's also the chair of the IIEA uh, Banking Group, Banking Union Group, uh, with us, and Pat is going to set out for us in a 20 minutes or so an overview of the work and an overview of that report. Thereafter, we will ask for contributions from Alan Jukes, who's a former Minister for Finance and a former, indeed, Director General of the IIEA, uh, former Chairman of IBRC, affectionately, as we now know, referred to as Anglo Irish Bank. Uh, Alan Ahern, who is the Head of Economics at the Curran School of Business and Economics in the NUIG. And finally, uh, Paul Gallagher, who is a Senior Counsel and the former Attorney General of Ireland. So it's my very great pleasure indeed to introduce to you Pat McArdle to set for us the overview of the, of the Institute's report. Pat. Thank you. 